God of the Weak, Vidar. Then comes Sigfara's mighty son, Vidar, to fight with the foaming wolf. In the giant's son does he thrust his sword, full to the heart, his father is avenged. Verlisper, Poetic Edda, Bellows Translation, 1923. The wolf shall fell the father of men, and this shall Vidar avenge. The terrible jaws shall he tear apart, and so the wolf shall he slay. Vafrusnismal, Poetic Edda, Bellows Translation, 1923. Silent vengeance is Vidar, quiet strength, waiting until the fateful moment to avenge his father's death at the hands of Fenrir. Son of Odin, it is said that Vidar and his brother Vali will survive Ragnarok and settle at Ithavolar, the remains of Asgard. Many of the gods of our law have the weight of fate resting heavily on their shoulders. Some biding their time with solemn duty, others desperate to evade what lies in store. Vidar belongs very much to the former, at least from what material it has survived. He is never the centre of any story, but present frequently when the gods gather en masse. It is said by Hai in Gilfaginning in the Prose Edda that Vidar has a thick shoe comprised of all the extra leather pieces that people have cut from their own shoes that the god has collected. It is with this foot, I explains, that Vithara will step upon Fenrir's lower jaw before grabbing the upper and tearing the wolf's mouth apart, killing him. Vithara then, in stark contracts to his father, is pragmatically preparing for what is to come with acceptance, with peace. Many worshippers of Vithara are inspired by the god's actions and character when it comes to meditation, finding solace in his ability for silent focus and still resolve. He does what must be done, what he knows must happen, without quarrel. But who is Vidar to you?